Okay, so uh, blessed day guys and uh, peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure access points using Cisco Packet Tracer. So when I open our Google spreadsheet, you can see today that in WLAN and VoIP technologies number one, okay? Wireless access points configuration, right? Okay, so uh, without any further ado, I'll just open our notepad to alert the steps to follow to achieve the objective. It's always to draw the lens to topology, decorate and comment. Configure each AP and configure the DSCP server, right? Okay, so basically, I left here blank because I need to show you uh, the right devices to choose. So uh, to choose a device, just come to the networking devices, then here to wireless devices, and choose the one written AP PT, the first one, okay? And just put it there, put it here, and put it here also. So I chose the three wireless devices to demonstrate how we can connect to the wireless network. So the first thing I'll do, let's just connect to the switch, okay? Uh, do it very, very fast. So basically, all of these wireless access points, they normally have default SSID or uh, Wi-Fi name and the password and also the wireless devices they normally have a pre-configured uh, SSID as the default plus the password so whenever you uh, just put an access point here and the wireless device they will com com I mean co connect automatically and they will always connect to that one with the highest strength all right so in this topology here we are going to use this RDSCP server to provide IP addresses to these wireless devices. And we're going to configure each access point to connect to its respective uh, device below, okay? So for example, let's start with this one, how to con configure an access point. Just click on the access point, okay? Come to configure, come to port one, okay? Then SSID is the Wi-Fi name. Let's say this is IT department, okay? Then, in the case of security, normally choose WPA2 PSK, okay? Click on that, then write the password. Let's say IT 87654321, okay? So, that's the password, right? Okay. So, I'll do the same for this one and this one, okay? So, I just go here, I'll come to port 1, and let's say this is HR now, HR. And the password will be HR. Okay, so we've managed to configure each access point with the SSID and password. So if we need to connect this SSID, then we must go to the devices and input the correct SSID and password. So let's start with the laptop. Normally, laptop that do these are uh, these laptops on the packet tester, they don't have a wireless card so it's upon us to put them so we just click on the laptop and uh, turn off the laptop just click on this uh, blinking uh, button here and remove this remove this uh, slot okay put it there and take this WPC 300N okay and insert in that slot then turn it on so the way uh, laptop here has a wireless card you can see here it has a wireless card okay all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to connect this laptop to this access point so what i'm going to do just come to access point to configure then port zero you see the sid name and the password so i do it very very fast just come to laptop and for laptop is normally good just come to desktop and uh, click on pc wireless to scan the available uh, Wi-Fi, then you go to connect and you refresh. It will see all the available uh, wireless uh, access points. Okay, okay. So we want to connect to IT because it was the first one. We just click on connect, and our password was uh, our password was uh, IT. 09876543321 good then you just click connect you see it's connected good so for this wireless for these smartphones and tablet 
uh, they don't have that capability capability of pc wireless you can see they don't have just come to config then you go to wireless zero okay and then you put ssrd was i uh, this was was sr sorry then the password was using which authentication wpa2 psk okay so it was sr 0987645432 one okay just close it will connect so i do this one also so very very fast to save time okay so i've managed to configure uh, these devices to connect to each respective uh, access point so if you, if you can just hover over them you can see they have a PIPA as the ip addressing scheme okay they have a self assign ip address so we need to use this dcp server to send in ip addresses so what i do just click on the dcp server come to desktop then i send ip address okay so that's the ip address of our dcp server let's let's just assume that we had a default gateway somewhere okay all right so uh just come to services after assigning the ip address here okay that way then just come to services and come to dcp make sure you turn it on okay all right so after that one after that one you can just say default gateway we want our default gateway to be 10.10.10.1 okay and the next server let it to be like our default gateway okay then we want to appear this to start from a 10 0 0 dot let's say 10 10 10 uh -huh, 150 good what even one 150 yes 151 okay then we just save good so when you come back here when you come back here to these computers all these laptops then we try to ip configuration go back to static and go back to you can see dcp successful and you can see the parameters already here okay so that's how to configure an access point very very simple ip configuration come to static then to dcp you see all the parameters will be here okay or so guys thank you so much i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure access points so when we meet next let's do for wireless LAN control all right okay so i'll mark that section as done so please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let's see you again in wireless LAN controller configuration bye